there. If you came here, you're at the base tutorial for spooky season. So thank you for coming. Um, the first thing that we're going to do to our base is block out our eyebrows. So if you don't have glue, go get some glue. This is gonna be the best stuff that you'll need to block out your eyebrows, okay? So Elmer School Glue, purple one. This is the best one that I've ever used. You just rub it, bit, 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 bit. You rub it back and forth over your eyebrow. This is very informal today. We're just doing what we're doing. You can do both. And you want to make sure you coat all of your little hairs. Both sides of them so they stick down real nice. Like that. And now you can smooth them out. We're not barbarians here, you know, we gotta make them look kind of presentable. All right, I'm gonna let these dry down a little bit before I put any powder on them, but that's our next step. So get your powder ready, we'll be there in a second. We've dried down a little bit by now. We're going to take our flower setting powder. Look at how crazy they look. We're doing good. You're gonna take whatever setting powder you have. I like to use my flower setting powder by Beauty Bakery. We're gonna just pack that right on top of the brows that you glued down. I'm gonna let this sit for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna go back in with glue but next time we use the glue, we are just going to apply it in the direction that the hairs are going to make sure that they really stick down. We'll wait for that to dry, put another layer of this on it, and then we'll be good to go. We can start our base. Okay, here we are with our eyebrows. So I did a second coat of glue. I put some more setting powder over it to help it dry down. And then I went and primed my face with the Milk, I'm almost out of this, the Milk Hydro Grip Primer so that we could get our base going. So from here, I have a couple things that I would like to use or potentially use. We've got, this is um, by Wet n Wild, it's a paint pot, it's called Fantasy Makers. This is in white. I don't think I've ever used, I might've used it like once. Ooh. But it's like a cream makeup. And we're going to use this as basically our foundation. And this is actually gonna go over our eyebrows too. Eyebrows, that was hard to say. There we go. And if you prefer, you could use a sponge or a brush, whatever you like. I'm just gonna use my fingers for this. And you're gonna do this all over your face, wherever you want it. So I'm not gonna keep you here to watch me do my entire face, but essentially, you're just tapping this baby in. Hi, okay. So I did end up switching to a brush, like a very packed brush like this. I think this is a foundation brush from 100 years ago from Bare Minerals. So whatever you have, it's gonna work. This would have taken a lot longer though had I used my fingers for the entire thing. So I just switched. Anyway, moving forward. We also have from, there's no brand on this. It's essentially a white setting powder. And you're going to just put this everywhere that you put, if I can get it open, everywhere that you put the white cream. So I would just do like this and press it in so that your cream makeup doesn't move. Wow. <laughs> like glowing. just everywhere have fun oh that I am looking like this we are going to move on um, we are going to attempt to contour our face um, please come along on this journey with me so we're going to do contouring a little bit differently now we're going to be taking this is the warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And we're gonna take this really deep gray shade at the top, it's called Walzana. And I'm using a very small brush for this because I want really, really precise lines. Um, and we're also going to contour our cheekbones more than once. I know how crazy that sounds, but just bear with me here. I will show you exactly what I mean. Um, it's a spooky season look. So 
realistically, ooh, realistically, um, it's not going to be contoured in the way that we traditionally contour. So let's let's take a look. We're going to try this one more time. So I'm just trying to outline where I want my contours placed. So that's one. I'm gonna contour where I normally contour and below it also. Okay, so this is kind of the look that I'm going for or at least the, the placement of the contour. And I have a feeling I'm probably gonna go back and like soften some of the lines up. So what I'll probably do there is take the um, white setting powder that I had and just like buff it on top of that. Not actually rubbing, going back and forth or like blending that, but just to soften these lines up a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll be back to see what else we can do to this. Okay, okay. So I lightened that contour up a little bit. I'm gonna go into that same shade with the same brush and kind of carve out maybe a nose. We're gonna do like what we would normally do here. But I think what we'll do instead is kind of keep the nose contour going. I can never get that even. It's fine. Today I look like Squidward. That's fine. That's what we should have done from the beginning. Keep the nose contour going up to the forehead. Be doing the same thing. It's mostly even, right? I'm sure it's fine. So I'll be doing the same thing and just going over this with that white um, setting powder that I had to soften this up a little bit. We're looking a little crazy. That's all right. We're gonna figure this out together, might I add. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the same brush, same powder, we're going to kind of just like run it over all of the things on our face. I don't know, the things that we want to highlight. I do want to want this to look like a little bit more rugged looking, like, like I'm definitely going to do this part of my neck. Anything where if you move, you kind of notice the difference. I want to do like the top of my lip, the bottom of my lip, like maybe the corners of my mouth. Just like highlight points, I guess, but like so that you look a little bit. The key is to look like a little distressed, I think. Like not emotionally, but like you've been through something, you know? Yeah, me too. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this guy. And again, this I'm gonna go in afterwards. Oh, that was a lot of pigment. This I'm gonna go in afterwards and kind of soften with that white powder. This can be messy because it's not supposed to look put together. Oh, I got purple on you somehow. So the last thing that I think I want to do for this base to kind of get a good jumping off point for where we're going to go with this look in general is going to be, um, I brought in a little cup of water if I could find it, not to drink, but to splash stuff on my, my face with. Okay, so I have this water, and you know what water means, right, besides obviously you should drink it, it means that we should get our palette out, our face paint palette. Why do I have a toothbrush, right? Very strange question, um, especially when you're sitting down doing some makeup and you don't need to brush your teeth. Maybe I do, who knows? You're not here, so. Anyway, so we're going to dip this toothbrush into the water. You're gonna get your face paint palette out and you're gonna dip this into your black pot. You don't want too, too much paint on this. 
because then it could get really messy really quickly and you're probably gonna wanna put down a towel because again, mess, quick. So, if you don't want something to get covered in paint, I suggest you put some kind of towel over you. And we're just going to, you probably kind of guessed it already, you're going to take whoo, the toothbrush that you have and kind of just run your finger over it so that you're flicking all the bristles at the same time like this. This is coming out really cool looking. <gasps> Can you see it? I hope they don't run. That's the other thing that you want to be careful of is you don't want to add too much water to this because then it'll run. They'll run down your skin. Okay, that's not bad. I might add a little bit more to my actual face, but otherwise, here we are. Thank you so much for spending some time with me on our base today. I think we look fabulous. If you wanna see how the rest of this look turns out, stay tuned. You will see the rest of this video very, if not at the same time, very shortly after this one is posted. So keep an eye out for that. I love you. Thank you so much. I will see you soon. Go watch the other video to see the rest of whatever's happening here. See you soon.